What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jimby Zale. Back here with another video. I am home. Feels good. Feels bad. The trip to Orlando was a success. I sold everything. I also want to start batching out more pops. Sorry Jeff I called about yesterday. Uh, I did sell a couple pops that he liked. Uh, but I'm gonna be selling uh, a new batch of pops. Probably start throwing some figures in there. So uh Rest in peace, some of the my Marvel Legends. Let's talk about today, how about that? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check out a Target. Uh, check out a Barnes & Noble, probably. I don't know what else stores I wanna check out. Whenever I go, I'm gonna bring you guys anyway, so uh, hope you guys did enjoy that uh, Mike's Collectibles and, and Comics and Collectibles, or whatever you call it. Hmm. So many pops, nothing new. Except for this. Where is it? Um, where is the? Damn it! I'm trying to find the DCPI. I guess not. Nothing new. Kira. Jazz here. This guy. It's Alex Silver because I will be painting um, the insides of what do you call his name? Yeah. I might be picking it up, but I'm gonna look around first, and if I see anything, I'll let you guys know. These are the Tamiyo Weatherling kits, by the way, in Hoppy Lobby, if you guys have one. Oh, man. Steamboat here. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Damn it. <sighs> He's going in my collection. Hello again. Oh, yeah. So sick. As trade red frame. Yeah, I think that's him. And look how big that sword is, yo. On his back. Unfortunately, one of the little clips that clips the, one of the boosters that they're on, it was actually broken. Or well, not broken, but like it's supposed to be like a C clamp, but it was like this. So I, I had to break it and make it in, or push it in a little bit. Try to fix the best I can, but this is what he ends up looking like. Uh, I haven't weathered him much yet. I haven't put any weathering on him yet, uh, as well as the water um, decals, water slides. But uh, I'm actually going to take my time learning how to do it correctly, because I don't want to mess up uh, any of my Gundams, especially this guy. He's too sick. I'm going to actually uh, show you guys how he looks uh, with the sword transformed to his different states so guys this is one of the forms it's pretty cool pretty cool i'm not a big fan of uh the, the whole top part obviously it doesn't look as good because i'm rushing through it i'm definitely going to keep it like this i have another sense of what i want to do so. so let me actually show you how the bow looks it looks pretty cool but it's really hard to keep stable so uh, obviously i told you guys about the whole wing situation so i just want to show you the bow 
uh, just in case you guys want to see how it looks. It looks really cool. And here is the final the one that it transforms to. Um, it's a little fragile because I brought it to the highest setting. But it's pretty sick. Look at that. Oh my god, it's backwards. I gotta fix that real quick. Hold on. My bad. As you can see, the boosters are push pushing out and everything. And uh, this is kind of like its attack position. Or flight mode, you can call it. Yeah, I'm loving it, man. Loving it. When I have time, I'm gonna start working on this thing. I've spent way too much too much time on uh, Gundams, so I might start working on him tomorrow. But I'm not going to uh, finish a lot. I'm probably gonna do like like a little bit at a time. So it's probably gonna take me a couple months, if anything, to beat this to uh, knock this guy down. I want I really want to take my time because I spent a lot of money on this guy. Um, but basically, I spent as much on him as on him. So I don't know. Uh, I want to kind of want to bring my Gundams over here to the front desk uh, just because um, I want to have one bottom space for storage because I want to slowly take you know this clutter away uh, I want to I want to put my Mesco uh, boxes up here so I'm gonna take one of those boxes or pops uh, pop sections and um, kind of like put them around the pops since this is basically my pop display at this point I ended up putting some of my pops up here, or the display from the the Gundam side. I ended up putting it up here. I like it a lot more for some reason. I feel cleaner, in a sense. Um, and uh, obviously this is very, very kind of bland. But I, I love it like this right now, so uh, I don't know what I want to do next, but uh, yeah. Wednesday, pre-work toy hunt. Let's get it. She looks like I need to get her. That's cool. <laughs> These are nanos? Huh. Wow, that's, that's really cool. Hmm. I might invest in this, but I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing else that I see that's new. Just came out here. I've never seen this dude. And this just came out too. Just cools.
got two of them. Come on. Man, they don't have any of the Gundams left. Hmm. Tell you, every time I want a Gundam, I come and try to get it and it's gone. I'm stupid. I might get a converse today though. Not sure. Just kidding. It's on the other side. So I might get this one right here. But I wanna go ahead and take a look at this one. This is new. 21, 22 bucks. Ooh. Riku. This looks literally like the double O. This is sick. This is sick. Over here. Mm-hmm. I kinda want this guy. Think about it. This one though. I guess I can wait on him. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on him. This can be my first uh, 144 scale for a long time. So, yeah, same thing. I would not get this one if this one's out. I'm sorry. That was cool, but this is better. All right, guys, so just left Barnes & Noble. I actually was uh, going to go to Target, but I didn't go because I actually have to work. I should have woke up a little bit earlier. Destiny Forsaken got me sleeping late. Pretty good uh, pretty good DLC for Destiny if uh, any of you guys are Destiny fans. And so I ended up buying the Converge. Lockhart's uh, Gundam. I can't remember his name. From Double O. Gundam Double O. Amazing series, by the way. Bought a certain uh, HG Gundam. HD is the high grade, so it's like the most simple one to build. But I bought that one in a sense because I want to really um, understand how to uh, work with seam lines. I just got my thin extra thin uh, Tamiya glue in the other day. I do apologize in advance to everybody that I'm not necessarily buying any Marvel Legends or anything, but I am seeing him in person, and I will say that that Lady Deadpool is a must for me. Uh, she looks wonderful. Her face scope is, is what sold me. Obviously, um, female um, Le Marvel Legends aren't up to par to what I would like. I wish they had double jointed elbows. Uh, they already had the double jointed knees, and I wish they did something with um, the body uh, articulation so I could do some crazy poses, but you can't really ask much when you're paying $20 plus for a for an action figure you know just got home from work been pretty good hunting the past couple of days i saw a lot of things i ended up just picking up gundam stuff so bought this for some fun so this is going to be my little tester for painting and scribbing or panel lining and all that so i haven't been seeing the new marvel legends wave i'm just waiting for the archangel to come out i'm also just waiting to see the rest of like like bishop and wolverine seeing them in a target or a pub or a walmart but as of right now guys i am laying low with buying stuff because of the toy show i was able to put some money into my credit card so it feels good i want to thank you guys for watching my videos i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like comment share and subscribe if you guys are new it's been a crazy pretty crazy year guys uh i definitely want to go back to orlando but i also want to make a trip down to tate's so uh hopefully that's soon maybe this weekend or not i'm not sure i definitely will bring you guys with me so yeah until then thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to get your figs up so uh later